What's going on you guys? It's Courtney. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about wigs. I wear them personally. I love them. And I'm going to show you the way that I like to slay my wigs. Does it look natural? Way, <laughs> I just love wigs. Wigs are life. A lot of people don't mind not securing them. I feel like if I just did that and I hadn't secured it, it would rip off. I like to be able to move it around. I can't tell if this is creepy or just a good way to have a wig here for me to show. I'm leaning towards creepy. <laughs> First thing that I wanted to talk about was I had that unboxing where um, I received that pink wig, but I couldn't find where it was from. Well, I figured it out and um, it's from a company called, and of course it's a name that I'm not going to be able to say, Zywiaia. X-I-W-E-I-Y-A and you can find them on Amazon.com and this unit or this wig that they sent me is $43.99 with free shipping and it's called their Mermaid Ombre Purple to Pink Nature Wave Hair Wig Synthetic Lace Front Wig Heat Resistant. So I checked them out and they actually look like they had a lot of um, other cool things. So when I did my unboxing, um, I showed it came like this in the netting. It also came with um, a two pieces of wig cap. So here it is again. It is very um, shiny looking, which is fine. I only wear synthetic. Some of them look more natural than others. I've had $30 ones that look better than $100 ones. Synthetic wigs can be maintained and kept nice for years because I have had this for years. Not for four years, but for years. Um, so this is one of the ones that I, the blonde ones that I love and that I wear all the time. Jennifer, if you will. And if you can see the difference in the shininess but it's also when they first arrive because being synthetic hair it's plastic it's not real human hair so there are things that you can do to kind of tone it down so one um, thing that I'm gonna do first is cut the lace of the wig after I take out this a lot of people like to put it on and then cut it when it's on their head. I never have liked doing that. And I like to um, kind of hold it up. See, I, I would do it facing me, but for you, I'll show you. Like, I would hold it up like this. And the reason I do that is because the tension helps me see how close. I don't, they say, sometimes people say to leave like an inch of it lace. I don't like any of it. I just kind of, you know, you don't want it to be like a perfectly smooth line and like that. And then it's going to end up falling on me because of when it gets to the end. There it goes. You can cut it and leave, you know, this much of, you could leave all this lace I just don't like doing that. I don't pluck them. I don't add makeup to the roots. One thing that I do is I do cut them after, um, which I'll show you how I do, and it's very simple. I am a cosmetologist, a hairdresser, so easy for me to say, right? But no, seriously, it's not that bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly just cut this lace off. Just like with anything else, you can always go back and cut more off. You can't put it back on. So, I feel like I can cut it easier and faster and it just happens for me better when I hold it up and all the tension from the hair is pulling. 
I always say if I wanted to look natural, I just wouldn't wear any makeup. It kind of has the same thing for me when it comes to wigs. If I wanted to just look comp like if there was, I'm sure there are times that people are like, that's a cool wig. Or some people are like, she wearing a wig. I know. I don't care really that much. <laughs> so it doesn't really bother me. But one thing I will say is I don't want to look like Halloween. And a lot of the times it just comes so thick and so much that it looks wiggy, wiggish. I'll show you what I mean. A cap. But I don't know if you saw my last video. I said never in my long-legged life will I probably ever put one on <laughs> in front of anyone or definitely not here. Just pull it back tight like this after it's wet and I take the cap, the cap and put it on the top and so now the hair's all sticking out the bottom and then I just kind of like evenly distribute it down here at the bottom. I personally wear more than one. I, I'm i like a three cap kind of girl because I have, when I put a unit on, I'm probably going to have it on for days. I sleep in it. I attach it. You can't snatch it. Wig rhymes. <laughs> that I'm not going to show you me putting this on, even though I know a lot of um, beauty bloggers and people do, is because of this. That's horrifying to me. I hear I'm going to throw one of these on. It's really not that hard. I'm sure you can find someone that's more confident than me online that wants to show you what it looks like. I can't get over this. I need to move past it. I need I need a therapist for wig cap. I, is there wig cap therapy? After you cut the lace, this is what the inside of it looks like. So there's different types of wig. A lace front wig is where where it's at. You're going to want to always do like the lace front. If you have a, a wig that doesn't have a lace front, it's going to have this type of material all the way to the front here. It's like bulbous. It's, uh, you know, for the... You can get a synthetic piece of hair from, ranging from $10 to... 200. I've never paid more than 95 and I think that was when I was a newbie. I would say right now my absolute favorite synthetic hair company is Chrisima Wigs. I own lots of them. The blonde one, Jennifer, that's Chrisima. No hate to um, Xiaoya, but I haven't tried it, so I don't know. So there's these clips inside. Now this would be more if you were using the netting cap or no cap at all because, I mean, how are you going to stick that through the cap? I don't use these. And these two strap things right here are elastic. And then you can tighten it accordingly. You could, if your head is mad small, you could cross it like way over. I usually just meet in the middle as a general and then go from there. Really, Examashvama? It baroka. What kind of crap is this? I don't have time for this. Send me a can wig with no name made me spend all that time hunting you down out of respect so that I could tell everybody and then I go to show everybody about your cool wig and it fucking broke. So I don't know what you feel. What's your slogan? We're not that bad. So this is what I did. I took that elastic and I went through where I would normally have had the hook and I did that. So let's see if this hook falls off when I go to do it.
Hey, look at that. Stayed on. So I'm going to put the wig cap on. This is how I always would do it. Forehead. And then to the back and then whip my head backwards, which I'll do in front of you. Hold, okay? Well then. This is something. Mm. This might be too much for me today. Does it look natural? <laughs> so this is the things that need to be done. I need to root it which means taking isopropyl alcohol and a regular schmegular Sharpie of your choice of color. You could do dark purple or any color. It just having your hair and not have roots until like here, that's going to help. And then also um, putting baby powder or dry shampoo. I don't use dry shampoo normally, so I don't have it laying around. If I did, I would use that but baby powder. I do because I'm obsessed with it. So I always just put it like this on a brush and then do this. And that takes some of the shine away. As you wear these synthetic wigs, they will calm down with the shine. Another thing is I will be cutting pieces that are shorter around my face. This hair looks like it's probably got curled up a little weird on accident. I would straighten it and then I think if I did those things to it, I might like it. I mean, it's pretty colors. There's nothing wrong with wearing it like this. I'm just saying, if you don't want somebody to come up to you and say, I like your wig, don't wear it like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a few of those things that I just said, and then come right back. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. Okay, we're gonna fix it. It's fine, we're fine. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. We're fine. Okay. It's fine. So what I ended up doing was cutting it more pieced around my face and taking out some of the shininess with baby powder. I also used a black Sharpie to add roots. I'm going to show you how I do that right now by going out like this. And you gotta do the whole thing if you wanna be able to flip your hair, if you just wanna wear it. In one certain style, like it in that moment, and you don't have a lot of time, don't worry about it. But if you want, you know, if you wanna act like you have roots and then you go and flip it, like there has to be roots under there too. And then after I put um, the Sharpie on, you're gonna wanna take um, isopropyl alcohol. I just get it from the dollar store. I put it in this little spray bottle. And then you can use Q-tips, or this is just like a cotton round folded up, and I just spray it. And then that's a good way to just blend it. It also takes it off, so you just wanna use it for blending, not for removing. But this is the key for me. Got to, I don't know why the bottle looks like that. Got to be glued in the yellow bottle. And I just take this much at a time and then make a thin layer. And then using either the back side of a comb, you could use something like this, like a makeup brush and go in like this. I use my fingernails because they're long and I go and pull it forward into the gel. 
you want to make sure that you don't put too much and you want to make sure that it's not wet or any it'll take forever to dry if you use a hair dryer it'll take two seconds and once this stuff sets up it's like on there so the difference and the reason why I use this over the wig glue that you can get on Amazon is because that leaves more of a residue on the wigs on your skin it's harder to get off you need to use alcohol to remove it or a wig glue remover this is hair gel so basically water in a spray bottle and it just becomes liquidy again and it it'll come right off so thin layer like see how the edge seems very harsh like you can see I like to take a little bit of the glue and give like the the hairs somewhere to kind of like fall onto so it's not falling onto nothing and then I had that weird like defined hairline the closer you put it to your natural hairline the more natural it's going to look although you do get the opportunity to create a smaller forehead which is super sick we're at where what 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 would be to either use the hair dryer and just get it completely set up if you had to do your makeup or you didn't have anywhere to go right away using a headband bandana tight hat they have head wraps made for wigs and putting it like around where you just did that so that it stays in place and it helps it just stay like nice and tight plus you look badass so this is on pretty decent now I can, you know, move it around like this. It's not going to come off. After I do a little bit of cutting, I'm going to put some makeup around the hairline to make it look even more natural. So what I mean when I say um, doing a little bit of cutting is around the hairline. I'll take pieces, very small, close to the hairline, just like this twist them twist 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 and then at a downward angle cut down above your ear definitely important to have some smaller hair for when you tuck your hair behind your ear nobody has just like super long Hair, like right like where that is so now that I've cut it it's a little like knotted up just from the twisting and the cutting and the so I just sprayed a little bit of water and I'm gonna brush it see if there's any um pieces that I'm not happy with yeah so this guy turned out nicely a little nervous at first when I first put on that pink shiny <laughs> scariness but I like it now for midnight sky and I think that it's gonna work nicely just a little powder around here for blending purposes I'm going in quick and fast that's what she said and then I'm gonna clean it up after makeup swipe
and this is going to be helpful for helping clean up any extra gel that went out a little too far that was unnecessary and it's going to clean up that shadow that I just put on. This bitch is going to go. I'm not, I don't, what, I don't have a wig. Do you have a wig? You take your wig off. Why, what do you mean? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> a lot of people don't mind not securing them. I feel like if I just did that and I hadn't secured it, it would rip off. I like to be able to move it around. I like to feel like it's part, part of me. I just like it this way. But you can also just put it on, put it on with a hat. I just would get nervous if it was windy or if you had a hater. <laughs> you know, wig snatching is a real thing. I've seen it on the interweb. Obviously, this isn't my best work. I'm just using a little clip to show you. It just cuts down on the bulk. If you did use the um, the gel method that I just showed you and it's ready to go, you can tuck behind your ear. So thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I had a good time. I hope you did too. I know I keep preaching about how wigs are easy and this and that. This was getting it brand new out of the bag from now on. It's super easy. All I gotta do is put my hair up in a cap and this one is good to go, ready for me. I can show you how to wash them. If you have any other questions, I love reading your comments. Don't forget about my giveaway going on right now. I will link that video down below. It is a pretty sick giveaway if you ask me. It seems like there might be a little competition going on out there. So I just wanted to say I love you very, very much to all my friends and all my supporters and extra love today to all my haters. Bye guys.